Hey, Paul. Uh, mostly, I just wanted to check in with you because I know you're getting ready to head off to Europe with Slayer and uh, just say hey about the big announcement that they made this week. To, to say hey? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Congratulations and welcome back, I guess, would be more in order, right? Uh, yeah. That, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm excited to be back. Um, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's been, I don't know how many years since the last time I played with them, I think 12 years or something like that. Um, and it's just, you know, it's really kind of, you know, it's been, been really cool to come back in the room and, and you know, play some, play some of the songs, you know, I mean, Slayer songs are, are epic and amazing. So it's been, that's been great. And, you know, we had a lot of great years together when I was with them. I had a lot of fun with them and hoping to continue all that. So I'm looking forward to it. And uh, you and I just uh, went to Jeff Hanneman's memorial, and I know that the entire metal community and 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 the guys in Slayer, everybody was pretty much in shock uh, when Jeff passed away pretty suddenly. Um, and I just thought maybe you could share uh, a memory of Jeff and uh, and maybe your experience at the memorial for people who didn't get to go. Uh, it's funny because I was thinking about it, you know. Um, this is the first time I've really ever had to share any experience uh, or, or anything, you know, memory of Jeff uh, at all. And there's so many different ones that pop up at so many different occasions, but, but they're kind of fuzzy. The only thing I, I can remember a couple in particular, I remember the first time I ever met Jeff when I came down to audition. I have two memories, actually. One is when I first came down to audition, and uh, I had each individual guy in the band, Tom was had a big smile on his face. He was there when I got there. I shook my hand, and Terry came in. He was all business and introduced himself and, you know, asked me if I was ready to kick ass. I'm like, yep. And then uh, tour manager came out and asked me if I wanted to meet Jeff. I'm like, yeah, sure, you know. So they had this big warehouse, and Jeff was sitting in the front lounge watching TV, and I came in, and, you know, uh, the tour manager, I was standing in the doorway. Jeff was sitting on the couch, and uh, the tour manager goes, uh, Paul Bosef, Jeff Hanneman, Jeff Hanneman, Paul Bosef. Well, hey, dude, nice to meet you. And Jeff just looked, he didn't even look at me, kind of nodded over my way and just goes, eh. <laughs> made a grunting noise or something, just kept watching TV. I was like, okay, I'll just, great meeting you. And I remember walking out, I'm walking out going, okay, well, so we got to business and, I, you know, just, we, you know, the audition part of it. And uh, after we got done playing, it, you know, everybody was really forth, you know, really cool. But I, that, that, that impression of Jeff was really, after I got to know Jeff, it became comedic to me because he didn't realize he did it years later after I was in the band. All, do you remember when I auditioned for the band? And like, remember when you met me? He's all, no, what I do? <laughs> and when I told him, he couldn't believe it. <laughs> so it was really, I thought it was, it was really funny and it was indicative of, of Jeff's sense of humor because, uh, you know, you know, back then they probably auditioned so many guys it was just another drummer coming through to him you know but it was I thought it was funny because it was just you know after that initial meeting I thought boy that guy's not really nice but it was like that was so not him you know what I mean that's why I think that one stands out because the first time I met him the other time it was on the ensuing tour um we went over and did some shows in Europe um we did eight shows total and uh, the last one was uh, Castle Donington. That was in 1992. So that was the first time I ever went out and played live with him. And uh, I remember we were, the first show we did was in Poland, I think, something like that, which is kind of funny. We're the first show is going to be in Poland again. Yeah. And um, on the European run. And I remember Jeff and I were sitting, we, we had this, we got on this, pol- this, aer- this, this airplane, it was Polish Airlines, I remember. And, uh, and the airplane looked like it was straight out of the 1950s. And when I say 1950s, it was probably the first time they ever flew jets. Um, <laughs> it had like, like if you look at modern jet airliners, you know, the windows are rounded off, but kind of squarish. Um, these were straight up like old school oval window. This is an old jet. I remember Jeff and I were sitting next to each other and neither one of us, I, I didn't know it, but neither one of us liked to fly at the time. And I remember Jeff just going, just sitting down in the seat next to me going, we're going to die. We're going to die. <laughs> And just go, I won't do it. I didn't want to hear that because I was scared too. Right. Like, okay, I'm, all, I'm sure they're not going to fly this thing unless it's going to go down. But I and, and I'm sure the people behind you didn't want to hear that either. Uh, there was nobody behind us actually cause where we were sitting in the airplane. But it, it was funny because he was saying it in a funny way. Because if you looked at the airplane, it just looked like, you know, he's probably right. <laughs> he's probably going to disintegrate before we get off the ground. But those are only a couple little memories. I mean, there was other stuff. You know, it, it just, you know, it, it's hard to, 
describe, you know, how, how, how much Jeff actually made me laugh. He had a really great sense of humor, and he'd come up with stuff just right off the top of his head. And he was a great dude to hang with, too. I mean, there was many times we'd be on the road, and, you know, um, we'd just, you know, just get somewhere, and Jeff would call me up and go, let's go downstairs and have a beer, and we'd sit at the bar and just kind of talk about stuff. So, you know, I mean, you know, Jeff, I mean, you know, I, I had a lot of good times with him. So, I mean, you know, he's, uh, he'll be, you know, sorely missed by a lot of people, myself included, but, you know, and, and for the people who didn't get a chance to go to the memorial, um, it was really a fitting tribute to, to, to Jeff and for Jeff. Um, you know, they let, they let people who not only were close friends and family, um, in, they also let people who, who, anybody who wanted to come, um, show up, which there were a lot of fans there, and, you know, um, you know, I, I, before I was ever in Slayer, I was a fan, so, you know, it's weird being the drummer of the band or, you know, and, and being a fan at the same time. But, but there were so many people down there, and during, they, they did a, they had different people who came up and spoke, which was, which was really, really cool. Um, but they did a, a montage of photos of Jeff's life, which was super cool, like when he was a baby, when he was young, you know, all kinds of stuff. And during this, they played music. They played Fade to Black by Metallica. And then they started playing, I think they played Rain and Blood. And when yeah. they played Rain and Blood, the whole floor broke out into a pit. <laughs> and it was, and this was at Jeff's memorial. And it was like, and I remember looking at that going, this Jeff would fucking love this, right? Part of my, part of my language, Jeff would love this right now. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, anybody that went, you know, um, didn't get a chance to go, um, you know, you you know, I mean, you would have enjoyed being there for the fact that you could have actually you know just been there for not enjoyed but but you know you would have appreciated it being there the way it was put together for Jeff. It was very fitting. 